All right, so this is the Tofu 60, guys. Tofu 60 2.0. Let's call it 2.0. Um, it comes in a bag, so if you if you do buy uh, the Tofu 60, you will get uh, the bag. It comes with a bag. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Which mounting cell are you going to use on this bit? All of them. All of them. We're gonna try everything. <laughs> So this is the Tofu 60 2.0. We can already see a few things. First of all, it's not a tray mount anymore, so um, you guys will probably be happy with that. No tray mount. Um, we can see that it's using a daughter board, right? So uh, because it is a gasket mount, uh, you can use it. It is better to use a daughter board. So daughter board is there. So this has three mounting styles, guys. So interestingly, I love keyboards that have a lot of mounting styles to make it, you know, unique. And you're not bored with the same keyboard because you can change the typing field by basically just swapping out the mounting style. You can have a stiffer mount, you have a soft mount, you have, I don't know what the silicon bowl is, but yeah. Um, so it's three mounting styles, which is really great, honestly. For 159 USD, I think it's great. Um, okay, so here's the side profile of the keyboard. Classic tofu side profile. Honestly, very minimal. How's the paint coating? Is it high quality? It's it's very nice. It's better than. So there's like it's painted now, right? I think it's painted. Um, it's a little bit rougher than the old anodized tofu 60, which was like basically just very slippery. This is now. It has a little bit of texture. It's very nice. It's very grippy. Um, it's honestly really good, and it's not pingy. It's dense. Here's the back of the keyboard as well. Yeah, a USB port is also centered. Omnaro with the tier one for two months, dude. Thank you so much. Here's the back of the keyboard. This is the biggest improvement in my opinion because now the Tofu 60 has a brass weight. It used to be only the Tofu 65 that has a brass weight, uh, but brass weights really affect keyboard sounds and it really affects the, the density of keyboards, which affects sound, of course, but... Yes, now we have uh, a simple brass weight. There's no logos, there's no engravings, there's nothing. It's just a basic brass weight, but it works. It's on the bottom of the keyboard. I don't really care too much. No KBD Fans logo? No. Not a single KBD Fans logo. There's the top view. There's the side view. There's the back view. There you go. Uh, you might be wondering, how do I open this keyboard up? It's not a tray mount. Well, it's using um, something that Gion does really well. Uh, and I really like this um, implementation. The screws are under the feet, which in my opinion is the best way to hide screws, honestly. So we have the feet, like Gion, Frog, and everything. Screwless look, it's all on the bottom of the keyboard, um, covered up by the rubber feet. And the rubber feet is big now, so it's pretty good. Few differences as well from the OG Tofu 60. We got foams, yes, foams. We love some foams. We have plate foam. We have the PE foam that everybody loves, PE foam. And we have some case foam as well. We got some foams included. Uh, we do get a set of screw in stabilizers included as well. Uh, we get another set of foams. Uh, this is the gasket mount. So the gasket mount on this is the same as uh, on the Tiger Light um, and the Tiger 80. So if you guys like the Tiger Light feel, uh, the gasket mount version of this should be the same, uh, which is pretty cool. And they have another mounting style, which we will try out today. Uh, this is the PCB. It's very nice PCB. It's a 1.2 uh, millimeter PCB, sadly. You know I hate 1.2s, but... This is what it is, which we won't use. Here is the PCB. No plate, yeah, there, there's a plate. It's in It's in another box. Uh, the PCB has a mount, uh, uh, sorry, a flex cut in the middle, so it's quite bouncy. Um, yeah, hot swap, multi-layout hot swap as well, by the way. So what PCB uh, do we get in this? I think it's like a proprietary PCB, I think it might be. Um, so this is pretty cool. This is a, uh, multi-layout PCB so it can do 7u 6.25u really nice it can do even ISO layout 
So for those of you, the British people, the ones who use ISO, German, Europeans, you're safe because this uh, helps out. You can use um, ISO or, uh, sorry, ISO or ANSI layout, which is pretty cool. Um, again, step caps lock, uh, normal caps lock, split backspace, normal backspace. It's honestly really, really good. It's really nice to see this kind of multi layout hot swap on this keyboard. Uh, fits for everybody, so they don't have to make multiple versions. Uh, it's a nice PCB with a daughter board as well included. So. This is the switch we're using today. It's the BBN, uh, built by NIM switches. These are linear switches, which has, I think, a PC bottom and a nylon top, I think. It's very interesting, so we're gonna try these out today. Uh, these are available on Keepsmart, so thank you to Keepsmart for sending this out for a review as well. Uh, I love clean desk mats so much, man. It looks so much nicer on stream. It's less crowded when everything's already quite crowded. <clears throat> Silicon bowl. Save top mount for last. That's the one I'll stick to most of the time. So here's the inside of the case. We can see, look at that. That's the inside of the case. Interesting. So we have the places for the silicon bowl gasket mount. Lot of uh, we have the places for the silicon gasket mount, which is the same as the Tiger Lite or Tiger 80. So if you guys like that mounting style, uh, this keyboard has the same mounting style, uh, which is great. So we have a beautiful alu plate. Is this upside down? Yeah, there we go. Really nice alu plate, actually. We have uh, a little bit of flex cuts in the middle. Oh, dear. <laughs> what does each foam affecting to sound and typing feel? Plate foam cleans out a little bit of the plate sound, so... If you have an alu plate, for example, uh, plate foam kind of mutes the alu plate a little bit more so it's not too pingy. Kind of makes the switch sound a little bit cleaner. Case foam is to remove hollowness uh, on the bottom of keyboards. Usually we have a lot of case foam on like keyboards that are very hollow. Um, they prevent that sound of that airy sound. Uh, they might also make your gasket mount feel a lot stiffer as well because they kind of make the gasket don't go up and down. Um, PE foam is to make the sound of the switch a little bit louder, a little bit more poppy, a little bit more artificial. So, yes. Alu plate. Let's do the silicon bowl gasket. So, whatever this is, I am equally confused of what silicon bowl gasket mount is, but this is it, I think. Let me see, let me make sure. How, how does this work? So, it just, it just, just goes in like that. But I like the sock mount the most. Yeah, it's the same with the Tiger Light, right? So all we need to do is like what? Insert that in? That's it? Is that the bowl? It's just like that, right? Right, Roro? It's... I believe it is. Okay, so this is the Tofu 62.0. We're gonna try two more mounting cells with the same configuration, so you guys can tell the difference. But yeah, this is the Tofu 62.0 with DCX white on black. Honestly, looks pretty good in this nice army green. Here's the side profile of the keyboard, pretty Tofu. And on the bottom of the keyboard, we do have this nice brass weight included, which is different to your old Tofu 60s. It's much better. Uh, we have a center-mounted USB-C as well. It's nice. It sounds good, though. It, it genuinely sounds good. It genuinely sounds good. I can already say it sounds good. So, this is the BBN linears, the built by NIM linear switches. I looped them with 205 grade 0 and 105 on springs. We're using a alu plate. Uh, plate foam, no PE foam, no case foam. Uh, and we're using this one on the uh, silicon bowl gasket mount. Uh, so silicon bowl gasket mount is the new mounting style from KBD fans. We'll try it out. We'll see how it feels. Okay, let's hear how it sounds.
Mm. I like this board, man. If you uh, if you're hearing scratches, the scratches is from the switch. So the BBN linears are uh, a little bit not not scratchy. They don't feel scratchy. They have this kind of like a more um, cr crackly sound. It, it's similar to SOTC switches. They have like the same kind of sound profile to SOTC, but it sounds really good, man. This keyboard really is good. I'm not joking. This, considering that we're only using plate foam, is quite good. I'm quite shocked because you compared to the old Tofu 60, guys, we have to compare this to the old Tofu 60 where, where the old Tofu 60, if you don't use a case foam, you're dead, right? The old Tofu 60 would sound so pingy and it would not be nice without case foam. This is not using a single bit of case foam. We're only using plate foam and it sounds really good. Uh, so talking a little bit about the uh, the mounting style, which is the silicon bowl gasket mount, we'll get into gasket mount and top mount after this, but the silicon bowl gasket mount is pretty nice. It's quite soft. Uh, the sides wobble a little bit, uh, but you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna play seesaw on the edges, but in the middle, it feels soft. Um, it has a soft typing feel. Um, it's like a gasket mount, but not, it doesn't have the compression from the top. What does it feel like? Hmm. It's very interesting. It doesn't really feel like, feels like a gasket mount, kinda. It's very hard to describe guys. It, it, if, but it feels soft. It's very comfortable to type on. I like it. I really like how it feels. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's really nice. I like it. Is that brass or PV? Uh, it's brass. It's brass. It's not. It's not a PVD. It's, it's like your kind of cheap brass, but it's it's good brass. It's brassed brass, as long as it adds out the density. The only critique I have with the tofu lineup is that the naming scheme is so so complicated, and they release everything in like a very short time frame from each other. So it's like, here's the Tofu Junior. Then suddenly, here's the Tofu 60 and Tofu 65 2.0. What's the difference? Oh, wait, let me put it out there. Tofu 65 SE. So in my opinion, at least, there's a little bit too much naming scheme. Uh, that's just a little gripe. I think it could have been named a little bit better. <laughs> Need some poly underneath the spacebar. It's a bit more hollowy, but I don't mind it, honestly. It sounds different. Uh, this is the gasket mount. This is the gasket mount. It sounds significantly different. Uh, I, I didn't think, I personally didn't think there was gonna be uh, a huge difference between uh, the gasket mount and the, sorry, the gasket mount and the, the, the silicon bowl gasket mount, but there's a huge difference. The gasket mount actually makes it feel a lot more, gives a little bit more reverb and a little bit more hollowness to it, kind of airy sounding a little bit. Uh, the silicon bowl, however, it really denses up the sound a lot and, um, it's up to you. This is a lot louder than 
this is a bit louder than the silicon bowl gasket mount. Uh, typing feel wise, it's not too different. Yeah, it's not too different. I think the gasket mount is actually a little bit stiffer. Yeah, the gasket mount feels a little bit tiny, teensy bit, a little bit more stiffer. The silicon bowl feels a little bit more squishy. Um, I actually prefer the silicon bowl over the gasket mount sound and the feel as well. But if you want a more like kind of natural sounding, uh, I guess, config, you could go for the gasket mount. It's a lot louder. It's, it's significantly louder. I kind of like the hollowness, a little more character. Yeah, it gives a lot more character. I, I appreciate it as well. Uh, but yeah, I like the silicon bowl gasket mount. It feels a little bit more, uh, not mushy, but it feels a little bit more softer than it feels on your, um, on the gasket mount, actually. The gasket mount feels stiffer. It is quite a surprise, actually. So if I can summarize the positives of Tofu 2, versatile mounting system, multi-layout support, screwless look, yes, and a weight. It gives you a lot of options regarding how you want to build the keyboard because you get, you get the, um, you get the, you know, three mounting styles. You get all the foams if you need or if you want the foams or not. It's the, it depends on you. The fact that it's multi layout hot swap as well, it it fits and helps out for people who are using ISO layout because a lot of people complain that ISO users don't get any support. So now they give you support, which is great. good it's really really good I love top mount you guys know that it sounds great it doesn't sound hollow on a top mount it doesn't sound pingy which is awesome honestly it's awesome because it doesn't sound pingy at all you know usually on top mount keyboards you have that kind of ting ting noise this is crispy it's clean sound it's very, 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 very consistent. Damn, this keyboard's really good, guys. I, I guarantee you this keyboard's really good. Uh, it's a huge, amazing improvement um, from the OG Tofu. I still think this is a Tofu 60, but in 2023, it feels like a 2023 board. It finally caught up to the levels that it could have been and it finally is mainstream again. Because the, the thing is, the thing is that it's hard to find keyboards that sound good in all three mounting styles. A, a good example is mode, of course, right? That's like my echelon of high uh, of keyboards. But uh, the fact that this keyboard um, that we tried today has, uh, is capable of sounding good in three mounting styles with top mount, silicon bowl, gasket mount, and gasket mount um, is good. And the fact that we don't actually need to use case foam on the tofu, which by all means we used to, we used to have to shove in to tofus with case foam, this does not need a single bit of case foam in my opinion. If I don't want to use the plate foam, I probably could have, but I do like the, that plate foam sound, so it kind of, makes it cleaner. 
essentially, if you are a newbie coming into the hobby, you want to try a lot of keyboards, but you don't really have a lot of money or you don't want to spend too much on keyboards, but you want to try a lot of things. I think this keyboard is perfect because the fact that you can try top mount and then it sounds different. It feels different. You try silicon bowl gasket mount, it sounds different, it feels different. And gasket mount, it sounds and feels different as well. And it's hot swap as well, which makes it easier, of course. And it's a relatively easy keyboard to build. That This is a perfect board for a lot of beginners, I would say. It's a perfect board for a lot of beginners. And for the price point for 158, right? I think it's a, I think it's a really good deal for a keyboard like this where it has a brass weight as well um it's honestly really good uh just a little gripe on the pcb uh because the pcb is east facing um and west facing on this and this uh the back the backspace kind of looks a little bit tilted the enter key kind of is a little bit tilted as well but that's because of the multi layout i can't really do anything um i think they're new mounting cell the uh, silicon bowl gasket mount is a really good mounting cell uh, it felt great it really felt great and i think my favorite sound out of out of all of the sounds that we've tried the three different mounting styles i prefer um i i actually really prefer the silicon bowl gasket mount out of all of it i feel like that's the best one uh, in in my in my opinion it feels like the best